In this video, we are going to look at something called atomic structure, and we are also going to look at electronic configuration, or how our electrons are arranged in our atom. At key stage three, you tend to think of atoms as uh, spheres or balls um, with nothing really smaller than them. You could say they're building blocks full of materials, which they are, but you don't actually go into any detail about what is inside them. Nowadays, we know that inside every atom, we've actually got three smaller parts that make it up. We call them subatomic sub or smaller than, than atoms, uh, subatomic particles. Okay, And the three you need to know about are named the protons, which I've spelt wrong. Okay, so protons are our first particle. You need to know about neutrons. And you also need to know about electrons. Okay, and we are going to be talking about um, two properties of them. Well, sorry, three. We're going to be talking about their location, which we'll draw out and explain. We, um, we also need to talk about their charge. Okay, are they positive, negative, or neutral? And their mass. Okay, how much do they contribute to the mass of an atom? Okay, so we're going to, as we go through this video, fill in this table, which you are going to go away and learn and never drop a mark on in an exam. Okay, right. We are going to pick an example and we are going to pick one of my favourite elements, which is going to be called lithium. Okay, so if you look at lithium on the periodic table, okay, you will see it has the symbol Li and it has no, two numbers, seven and three. Okay, these numbers tell us information about these protons, neutrons, and electrons. Okay, what we are going to do um, is first off start with our kind of key stage three representation of an atom. So I'm gonna draw a round sphere, okay? And imagine this is your key stage three atom, it's a ball. However, if we zoom inside it, right in the center of it, Absolutely tiny compared to the size of the atom, but still there. I'm going to draw it a little bit larger. We have a part of the atom which we call the nucleus. Okay, don't get this confused with the nucleus in biology. It is much, 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 much smaller than the nucleus in biology. It just means the center of an atom. <coughs> okay, the first subatomic particle we find in there are our protons. Okay. And what you need to think about here is this part pro. If you are pro something, you are very for it, you feel quite positive about it. Protons have a charge of positive one. Okay, Every proton in an atom contributes plus one to the charge of the atom. Okay, This actually um, comes from, or um, the way we work out how many we've got, is by looking at the atomic or the proton number of our atom. Okay, So that is our proton number or our atomic number okay so in an atom of lithium i have got three protons three positive charges which i'm going to show like so so remember they've all got a positive charge which is why i've put a plus inside them okay the second part you need to know about are our neutrons okay similarly think about the name Neutr is short for neutral okay neutrons are neutral particles they have a charge of nada Okay, think of them a bit like the glue that holds the nucleus together. Okay, they're kind of gluing these positive charges, holding them together. The way we work out the number of neutrons is by using these two numbers. This top number here is called the mass number. Okay, or you can also call it the nucleon number, the number of particles in the nucleus. Okay, if we have seven particles in total in our nucleus and we know we've got three protons, <clears throat> it tells us we must have okay, 7 minus 3, which is our proton number, which is going to give us 4 neutrons. Okay, So 7 minus 3, our proton number, means we must have 4 neutrons in total in our nucleus. Okay. I'm just going to draw these as spheres with nothing inside them. They've got no charge. Okay. <clears throat> so in total, you've got one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven particles in the nucleus of your atom. Okay, that is why our mass number is seven. Okay, what this tells us is that these particles in the nucleus contribute uh, the vast majority of the mass of our atom. Okay, the reason I've counted protons and neutrons as one there is because both of these contribute one to the mass of the atom. We say they have a relative mass of one. Okay, the third particle we haven't spoken about yet are called the electrons. Okay, and these are really interesting. They, they actually determine how atoms react and they give us loads of information. Okay, it's what chemistry is really looking at electrons. So, what are they like? Well, the really important fact is that my atom overall must be neutral, it must have no charge. Okay, so in this atom here, this lithium atom, I've got three positive charges. I must therefore have three negative charges. Each electron has a charge of negative one. Okay, so in total, I must have three electrons in an atom of lithium. Okay, where are the electrons? Well, they are actually they actually form the outer boundary of the atom. Okay, in this particular atom, lithium, I actually have two electron shells, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Okay, my first two electrons would fit into that first shell. Okay, however, the shell is now becomes full. I cannot fit any more electrons in here. Okay, therefore, my third and final electron must go in what we call the outer shell or the outermost part of the atom. So, we've already said that protons and neutrons contribute to this mass number. Well, why is that? Well, if you think about an atom, and imagine this atom here is the size of Wembley Stadium. Okay, so you've got your outer stands of the stadium here. Okay, and um, the atom or the inside of the atom is the whole of that stadium inside. Okay, actually the electrons would be roughly the size of grains of sand whizzing around that stadium. They're absolutely tiny. Okay, the nucleus isn't actually that much bigger. It'll be roughly the size of a grape on the center circle. So the nucleus of an atom is actually pretty small too. Okay, the majority of the atom is empty space. Electrons actually have a very, 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 very small mass. Okay, the proper number is one over 1,827. I always learn to remember it as 1 over, over 2,000. Okay, so electrons have a mass of 1 over 2,000. This is the real key point you guys need to remember. Okay, so remember that protons, positive charge, plus 1. Okay, neutrons, no charge. Electrons, um, neg charge and negative 1. Okay, remember the masses, protons and neutrons contribute to this mass number, the massive, the larger number in your um, um, element. Um, element. Um, electrons have a mass of 1 over 2,000. Okay, this brings us on to what we call electronic configuration. Okay, we said before that every positive charge you have in the atom must be cancelled out by a negative charge because overall the atom must be neutral. Okay, let us take another example. Let us take the example of calcium, which I believe is 40, 20 Ca. Okay. Quick recap um, from above, the atomic or proton number is 20, therefore it must have 20 protons, okay? If it, had tw it has 20 protons, 20 positives, it must have 20 electrons to cancel out that charge. So it's going to have 20 electrons. In this case, we have the mass number is 40, the total number of protons and neutrons is 40. Therefore, it's quite an easy example. Neutrons is just 40 minus 20, which gives us 20 neutrons. Okay, so quite an easy example there. Okay, anyway, on to our electrons. Um, this time, I'm just going to put a Ca in the middle to represent my calcium atom, or calcium nucleus, sorry. And I'm going to draw the shells around it. In total, I need to show 20 electrons in here. Okay, just like before, in my first shell, I can only fit two electrons in. Okay, so there go my first two electrons. Okay, imagine uh, going to a bar. That bar is now full. You have to walk on down the road to the next bar. My next electrons go in shell number dos, which is two in Spanish. In this shell, I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. Okay, at which point the shell becomes full. Same thing again, let's walk down the road to the next shell. Again in this one, I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. Okay, in total, let's just add up. I've got one, two, 
plus 8 is 10, plus another 8 is 18. Okay, I've got 18 electrons here at the moment. I need to get up to 20. So I need a fourth and final, what we call an outer shell, in which I'm going to put my remaining two electrons. Okay, this is the highest one you need to know for GCSE. If you remember this ordering, two, the first shell, eight, eight, okay, and whatever else, but in this case it's two. Okay, this is the shorthand way to represent the atom, and that is the highest one you need to know. Just to give you one more example, let us take um, carbon. Carbon, the symbol is 12,6C. Okay, again, I'm just going to show my nucleus with a C. In my first shell, how many can I, electrons can I fit in? Well, I can fit in one, two. I'm going to need to get up to six here. In my second shell, I am going to fit in four, one. You can push, put them wherever you like. I'm just going to put them like so. Okay. Remember, okay, this actually ties in with the group of the periodic table. Carbon is in group four. If you look at it on the periodic table, that means it has four outer electrons. 